Hello everyone, welcome to my channel EC Junction. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the solvability or rather the condition for which an end puzzle problem will be solvable. So before getting into details, we will see what an end puzzle problem basically is. Okay, so in an end puzzle problem, we will be given with an root over n plus 1 cross root over n plus 1 matrix. Okay, so basically, for example, let us say that we have n equal to 8. Okay, so 8 plus 1, that is equal to 9, 9 and root over 9 equal to 3. Therefore, we will be given with 3 cross 3 matrix. Just for an example, here we can see we are given with 3 cross 3 matrix. And this will be called as the initial state. Okay. This will be called as our initial state and from this initial state, we will have to reach a goal state. That is our problem statement. Okay. Now see, in an n puzzle problem, the numbering in these cubes will be from 1 to n. Okay. Here, it is an 8 puzzle problem. Therefore, the numbering will be from 1 to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 like that. Okay. And the ninth one will be a blank one. Okay, that means a blank box. No values will be there. So how we are going to proceed in our problem is that we need to shift this uh, blank box step by step. But there is a constraint there. That is, we can only move this box right. That means in the, this direction or to the left, this direction or to the top and to the bottom. That means we are not allowed to go in these diagonal directions. That is our constant we need to know. But what the problem here is when you are going to code this or you are going to perform an algorithm, uh, most importantly, here we use a star algorithm, very famously used in this type of problem. But before getting into that, we need to know that here we can see there are nine boxes. Okay. In an n plus problem, in 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 uh, puzzle problem, there is n plus one boxes. For that, there will be total of n plus one factorial uh, states, initial states. Here, for an eight puzzle problem, there will be nine factorial initial states, distinct initial state. From that n plus one, or here nine factorial uh, initial state only only the half of this will be solvable that means the half of this will actually go into the final state after a uh, uh, finite number of steps okay so here 9 factorial by 2 will be the number of initial state which will be actually solvable so see when we are going to implement a problem uh, using an algorithm and there is a criteria that uh, some problem will solve and some will not solve so if we don't check that uh, before getting into the problem or searching then what we'll do uh, we will fall into an infinite loop we'll continuously search 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 and uh, you know within finite time we will not get an output because it is actually unsolvable so we need to check the solvability of an in puzzle problem so let us see how we check that now this was our initial state and we want to go from this state to this one and most importantly this is the standard uh, goal state but not always this will be the goal state it may change but standard we take this and ordered one two three four five six seven eight and blank okay so for this problem from uh, where we are going to the standard state then our condition will be the number of inversion we need to calculate the total number of inversion of the initial state we need to calculate if it is came out as even then we will say that the problem is solvable but if it came out as odd then the problem is not solvable this condition is only valid for this type of standard problem so let us see how we can check the inversion count inversion count is nothing but we will have to check one by one and one by one i mean we will go uh, row wise 
first we'll uh, check all the elements of this row first row then second row then third row likewise okay and we will see that each number whether it is preceding the lower numbers or not let us uh, see how we are doing this first one is one we will see that uh, whether it is preceding some uh, other values or not it is not preceding any other values but if you see 5 it is actually preceding 3 2 and 4 because 5 is larger than 3 2 and 4 that means 5 is preceding these three values therefore for this case the preceding count sorry inversion count is 3 okay now let us see uh, for uh, 7 7 is actually preceding 8 uh, sorry not 8 6 3 2 and 4 6 3 2 and 4 that means the inversion count in this case is 4 okay now let us see 8 8 is placed here and it is actually preceding preceding uh, uh, 6 3 2 and 4 like this and here the uh, inversion count is 4 uh, likewise we are not going to check this you know, for the blank we will check the next one that is 6 6 is actually preceding 3 2 and 4 here we are writing this and the inversion count is 3 likewise we will check for 3 3 is preceding 2 so the inversion count is 1 but see 2 is not preceding anything because if we check after 2 it is 4 and actually 4 is greater than 2 so it is not preceding any value okay so the inversion count is 0 similarly for 4 it is not preceding anyone because after this there is no value so there is uh, no no cube which it is preceding and which whose value is less than this so the inversion count is again 0 now we are going to sum up all this inversion count and we will see see 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 we are getting 15 right okay now 15 is an odd number and we had said that for a problem to be solvable the total inversion count need to be even for case of standard goal state okay so therefore we can say that this problem is not solvable in our last problem we had seen that the initial state is not going to be solvable now let us take another problem and the goal state here also remains same but we are just changing the initial state the goal state remains the standard one okay for this we will again check one by one and i had already listed i am not going to uh, go into the details again uh, you will just follow the same step and we will see that the count are coming something like this and if we add up the count we will get 16 okay now 16 is an even number and the condition is satisfying therefore we can say that this initial state if you are given with this initial state and the standard goal state is given to reach then using some suitable algorithm it is solvable that means this problem statement is solvable okay so in our last two uh, problems we had seen that the standard state is our goal state but i had already told that it is not mandatory that only that one two three four five six seven eight will be our goal state it can be any state any intermediate state can be our goal state we can define it is up to us okay so i am just taking a standard sorry a generalized example and we will see how to check for this kind of uh, problems okay so we are given with this initial state and we have two goal state and we will see whether this initial state can reach this one or this one and the logic is somewhat similar okay for this initially we need to check what is the inversion count of the initial state and using the same logic the same way we are going to count the inversion count the total inversion count and we, here we can see for this initial state using the previous method we can see we are coming out with 11 as our inversion count and we can see that it is odd so we need to check for the goal state now okay now for the goal state uh, we can see if we use the same logic and we will come out with this and the total is going to be 7 see the initial state is odd and 7 is also odd therefore it is solvable that means from this state this state to this state we can reach within finite time or finite iteration so this is solvable okay now see this one the goal state 2 
from this initial state we're going to find so uh, i think the logic is clear that for this to be solvable we need to have the odd inversion count if it is going to be even then we are not able to solve this okay see now if you see that all the uh, cubes or the numbers are in order no one is preceding any other okay so therefore the count will be 0 plus 0 dot 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 that means all will be 0 all inversion count individual inversion count will be 0 therefore the total inversion count will be 0 and that's why we get 0 uh, sorry even and as it is even it is not solvable because the initial state was odd so like this we are going to check and for the same reason for standard cell we were just considering even inversion for getting solvable because see what we have in the goal state of of the standard problem that is one two three four five six and seven eight and if we count the inversion we can see that there is no inversion no one is preceding any uh, smaller value that means the inversion total inversion count is zero that is even that's why you are telling that if our initial state is even and the output or the final goal state is the standard one then we will only check whether uh, the initial state is uh, having inversion count even or odd if even it is solvable if odd it is not solvable but for uh, generalized case we need to check for both initial and goal state for the solvability okay so this is the basic idea of solvability in the next video we are going to solve a few problems using a star algorithm okay so for now thank you and if you like the video you get some knowledge please go and subscribe the channel and give a thumbs up